So let's start with um, so my full disclosure. This video is for informational purposes only. It is based on my personal research to escape controversies in the classroom. Um, it, it has helped me because now I no longer get agitated when people talk about it. And it has no political or jingoistic connotation. I'm not saying any country is better than another country. I'm just letting you know what happens in different places. So let's start with the first one, which is hyperbolic sign. I'm going to show you a summary of how it is said. The most common ones, I've seen people say it in different ways, but these are the predominant ones that you will come across. So the British would pronounce it as shine. So shine X, shine theta, and also um, it, it rhymes with the word shine. In America, it is pronounced cinch. It rhymes with the word pinch. So those are the countries you hear it from. So most of the Commonwealth of, of Nations, the uh, countries that were initially colonized by the British, would tend to say it the same way, shine. And in America, it is strictly cinch. You don't want to say shine in an American classroom. That might get you in trouble. <laughs> Just kidding. The next expression is hyperbolic cosine. Now this one is pronounced kosh in the British um, environment, um, but it is pronounced kosh in America, as in kosher. So it is kosh, the O sound, whereas the British would pronounce it as posh in Nigeria. It is posh in India. It is also um, kosh. That's how it sounds. The third one is hyperbolic tangent. It is pronounced the way you would say thank you, okay, the thank without the K, that's how you pronounce it, than. And in America, it is pronounced tanch. It rhymes with the word ranch. So that's the difference. So you hear than, theta, and you have tanch, theta. You have to choose which one. Um, you have to use depending on what environment you find yourself in. The next one is hyperbolic secant. Hyperbolic secant in the British environment is pronounced shek. That's the short version, shek. It rhymes with the word deck. In America, it is pronounced setch. It rhymes with the word fetch. The next one is hyperbolic cotangent. And in British environments, it is pronounced cough. It rhymes with the word cloth. In America, it is pronounced coth. Rounds, rhymes with the word both. And finally, it's hyperbolic cosecant. It is pronounced koshek. In British environment, in American environment, it is pronounced kosech. So, Make up your mind and tell yourself where you are and what you need to say. I hope this video was helpful. If it was helpful, just give it a thumbs up, thumbs up. And make sure you share, like it, make reference to it. Because I did research to find all of these words. Other ways people say it um, may be controversial or maybe just not generally accepted. But this is a generally accepted way to say it into major environments. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Don't ever stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.